If only these worthless humans could fight as well as they die. A final march to King Lane's home, Stormwind Keep, is at hand. Only two pathetic settlements stand in the way of the awesome juggernaut your cool leadership has created. The humans have proved to be amusing opposition, but the hour of doom has come for them. The complete and utter demolition of the Twin Cities, Goldshire, and Moonbrook will sever the lifeline between the king and his people, making him a figurehead waiting to be lopped off. Uh, hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Warcraft Orcs and Humans. Uh, it seems we are on the second to the last level. Uh, so things are going to be heating up here pretty soon. Uh, this level will probably be pretty difficult. Uh, but we'll have to see if they gave us anything new to work with, uh, building-wise or whatnot. Actually, I'll send that guy up here. This guy over here. Now I need to find something for these guys to do. <clears throat> She's gonna build this right here real quick. Um, I need a blacksmith. Okay, so these guys are gonna go chopping wood for now. Uh, until I at least find my uh, gold mine somewhere nearby, hopefully, uh, pretty soon here. And I kind of like having the trees up here. This is a nice little uh, guard right here for the top. I don't have to worry about getting hit. I can move these guys over. Okay, so I got some distance there. I don't have to worry about them coming across too quickly with the uh, uh, catapult. Uh, I'm still looking for a gold mine, though. Now, as I said before, they usually keep it within one frame. There you go, of that building. So. these guys get back, I'm sending them on gold. Same thing with those guys. I got enough lumber for now. I don't really need that. And I'm going to send this guy out to explore a little bit more over here. Not too much more. I also want to build that uh, as well, just to see what they got uh, new. But I need to build some buildings as, or some units as well, because I don't have very many of those. Take these guys off. Actually, I see just exactly what's down here. So I'm going to build another one of these guys. Uh, and then I'm going to need more farms. So. See if this is a dead end over here. Kind of wide open here. farm. Don't quite have enough for that yet. Uh, 
Now, I don't want to go looking, uh, you know, too high up on the map just yet. Uh, I don't want to get their attention and bring their whole forces back right down to me uh, before I'm ready for them. But I do just want to see what's up here on this side, just so that they can't hit my guys with the catapult or something. Uh, if it happens to be not that big of a, a forest, which it doesn't look like it is. And I don't want to break through it either over here, so I want to see exactly how far up it goes. Uh, to a certain extent. If it keeps going up higher and higher and higher, then I don't have to worry about it. But Okay, let's see. There's another gold mine. I didn't even look in to see this, how much there was. Uh, that should actually be a pretty decent amount. Okay, so I don't have to worry about getting attacked from up there. Actually bring this guy back down. Now, the reason I want to build um, this building first is I played through the human playthrough first. Uh, and at a certain level, they get uh, a water elemental. And the orcs get a um, a demon that they can cast uh, from their their casters, uh, their wizard or necromancer, whatever it is. And uh, you know, I haven't got I haven't gotten that yet. We're already on the second to the last level, so I'm hoping that on this level they give it to us. Uh, and those guys kick some serious butt. They only uh, use uh, power to cast, uh, so they don't use any of your resources. And uh, if you have, you know, you don't need too many of them. Four or five is actually a pretty good amount. Uh, I try to go extreme and do like 12. That way I always have four or five ready to go. Um, and one demon makes a huge, huge difference. So, Okay, put that over there. Actually, uh, as soon as I have enough gold... Go ahead and do one more peon to get things going. I don't have any trees being cut down yet. Uh, and I'm going to need lumber regardless. Uh, I'm going to clear this up just so that nobody hides in there. As I mentioned before, they know exactly where your fog of war is. Uh, and if you leave any areas, they'll come over all the way around your base. Uh, and park somebody right there in a little spot like that. And just have them summon those little spiders over and over again. You'll have no idea where they're coming from. build that. I'm going to put this next guy on lumber for now. Um, I guess I'm going to have him cut up here. He won't get through it too quickly and eventually I may need that gold uh, and that will cut off some time rather than having to walk all the way around. Here we go, our first... Uh, Raider, first test of our uh, defenses. Now these guys aren't fully upgraded and I only have two of them. That's why they didn't die right off the bat. Go ahead put this guy back on gold. And there you go, that's the demon. I'm going to save up for that, but I'm going to buy one of these as soon as I can. Uh, as I said before, when they come out, they don't have full power. They have to sit there for quite a while, uh, metting up before they have that capability. So, uh, you know, if you're going to do the upgrade, you might as well buy him and let him build up his power so that he's ready when the upgrade is finally ready as well. Now, this is probably what my army will consist of. I'll probably just use nothing but these guys uh, on this level. Uh, they're that powerful. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, well, that obviously was a little too high. So I'm going to move my guys down just a tad. Huh? 
How did he even get in here? And of course he hits the one guy I just paid to have summoned. Get out of there, get out of there, you idiot. Okay, well 900 gold down the drain there. It sucked. I'm actually going to take this guy off. Put him on gold. Uh, I don't need lumber for any of these units. They're just gold right now. And I need to get a few of them out. Uh, I'll feel better if I have at least one guy guarding my base with full power. Uh, ready to summon a demon. Uh, simply because I don't really have any troops here. This is uh, pretty pathetic as defense. Uh, they could come out and wipe me out pretty easily. In fact, they may just do that after this guy. Thankfully, they didn't. Okay, finally, put this guy way over here. It's going to take a while to save up. Got a decent amount coming in. These guys are bunholes. I don't know how they're getting in my base. It must be that invisibility thing, but... Very annoying. Actually, you know what? I'm going to leave one guy over here. They seem to like this area. And I don't want to lose this guy again, so. They like attacking these guys as well. Let's keep an eye on that. Okay, here they come. Need to get these guys before he casts that uh, mist stuff all over my dudes. Okay, well, I wanted him to kill this guy, but. that demon pretty fast. The good thing about the demon is I can send him off to go harass these guys uh, and if their little forces that they're building up is are dying uh, they can't attack you which means your base is safe. Now granted there could be more than one base uh, on this map um, and so why I'm off attacking this guy say over here there might be another one over here or even another one over here uh, setting their forces down. Uh, so you gotta take that into account, but... Should be able to do it now. Hold on one second. And there we go. Now he needs full power to be able to cast it. So all this time he's been sitting there wasn't uh, for waste. Uh, you know, he still can't cast it yet, so... Hopefully by the time that's finished, he'll just be metting up all the way to full power, and I can show you what that looks like. Uh, and then come over and harass these guys for a change. Uh, and then the the race really starts to build as many of these guys as I can. Uh, I can only build a couple, but or a few, five, I think five, six. Uh, might have to build another farm. I think that's going to be enough. Ah, oh, wait. So I think that's going to be perfect timing on this one. I feel so vulnerable over here. It's pathetic for an army. Okay, so he's ready, and this is almost ready. And I have a pretty decent amount of gold coming in. I only need 900 per... Uh, of these guys, so... Okay, here we go, guys. 
Now his magic will count down rather quickly compared to the little spider dudes that he can cast. Uh, but he does so much more damage. Uh, he's completely worth it. Hopefully he doesn't get caught on this guy. Now you always want to remember that you can cast these guys and so can they, uh, their own version which is the water elemental, so and there it is right there. Let's see who wins on this one. Might be him because he got the first two hits. And he's getting healed. Launch, what are you waiting for? Okay, well this is gonna be pretty messy. Okay, that went better than I thought it would. I did end up wasting that guy, uh, unfortunately. And then bringing that down did uh, hamper my my plans to harass them, so now they're coming over to harass me. Uh, quite a bit of harassment, actually. These guys aren't going to be ready for some time. guys to start producing. Uh, I may just build a couple of these guys uh, just in case until I get things going. Another two minutes on this guy, maybe. Now, I also want to upgrade these because when you cast these guys, uh, they use the same defense uh, as your units. I'll wait on that. So, by upgrading your armor, you're actually making them stronger. Uh, which could be another reason why my guys didn't win against that blue guy. Uh, that blue guy also has a ranged attack where yours doesn't. So head to head, I think the uh, water elemental will probably win against the demon every single time. But we'll have to see how that turns out uh, if we hit him again. Or when we hit him again. Still not done. Now, I would move these guys up so that the demon doesn't have to walk as far, but they have the, uh... <coughs> Sorry, guys. Uh... Oh, great. Now I need some more farms. Okay, so while this guy is making a farm, I'll go ahead and upgrade the stuff I can. Ah, and here they come with their Reign of Fire stuff again. And hopefully he can get them in time. And this guy's done. Okay, so let's see how this works. Ok, 
Okay, so not, not quite as uh, neat and tidy as I would prefer these uh, <laughs> attacks to go. I want to actually make a difference up here, but he seems to be very uh, intent on making my life far more miserable than it has to be. Actually, I'll kill these guys first. Which will make it difficult because these guys will be healing the entire time. And I'm sure these guys will come down as well. Uh, so this guy may not even kill anybody, unfortunately. If he attacks on his own. As I said, these guys are uh, very stupid. Just sit there and I'm not even sure why this guy's way up here. Oh, that's about to be destroyed. Okay, so let's see. I can cast this guy and this guy and this guy. Finally, I actually have a decent uh, size force to come up here and hit these guys with. And again, they're over here. Might as well just keep my troops over here all together. I'll do the, just that. I'll leave my guys here. There's no reason not to. Okay, let's see. This guy's ready. <clears throat> so I'm going to leave him there. Just in case my base gets attacked while I'm gone. Uh, I can cast a demon. These guys just stand here and let them die. But. And you can see, uh, even with their limitations, they still are far better than any of your other troops. Uh, and in groups, they're pretty much unstoppable <laughs> compared to anything else you got. Uh, and on top of all that, they're free. You know, and you can see their weapons and stuff will upgrade as I upgrade them. Don't quite have enough for that yet. Now, I'm not quite sure where I'm supposed to be going. I'm pretty sure the base might be up this way. That seems to be the, the general direction they're coming from, but... I want to make sure, just in case, that uh, they don't have more than one. I'm not quite sure why they're not killing this guy. Some chop trees, uh, that's usually a good sign that there's a base nearby. Your command, master. Go ahead and build that. And I probably have quite a few people who can cast. Uh, another three people at least, looks like. <clears throat> but I'm not in a rush. Uh, these guys are still alive for now. Uh, maybe not now, but... This is supposed to basically be a, a mission to harass them as much as I can. Uh, so they don't have any forces to come actually attack my base. And so 
somebody's launching a catapult at me. Now with three guys, I actually got inside their base. So I tell you what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cast those other guys. And send them up there to help. I'll go ahead and upgrade that as well as soon as I can. Now this guy's magic is lasting quite a bit longer than I thought it would. So he might actually be able to destroy that Actually, he might be able to destroy a couple before uh, he disappears on me. It's nice how they're all invisible. Probably should repair that, but not a priority. Getting a few more of these guys going would be very nice. I got three now if I make that four of them that are ready to go. Uh, I'll see how these guys end up doing up here um, before I make those guys. Uh, I'm not sure where to send them just yet. I keep looking around. This guy's gonna poof in a minute anyways. Have them kill those guys. Now not having to build up a huge force to come actually attack because these guys are free uh, is very liberating. I mean you can do a great deal of damage uh, very quickly in the game simply because it doesn't matter if these guys die and this is kinda why I like them oh nice right when he finally found them Send these guys over here. Uh, let these guys come up here and kill their their base. I don't have farms. You know that should actually be good. I don't think I need any more casters. Uh, their base is going down already. And even if they did have another two or three more bases, uh, I don't think it would make that big of a difference to me at this point. As you can see their height in there. He could go all the way up here and I wouldn't be able to see where he's at. I'm not quite sure why he's not casting his area effect spell. And even that little simple attack that he's using actually uses magic. So it's best to keep those guys in the background not doing anything at all uh, and saving that power up for when you need it for something like this. Plus they're so weak. Uh, I think the peasants are still weaker than your casters but it's a pretty close tie. somebody up here. So 
there's a base here, and maybe another base up here. Looks like there might be two bases there. Glad to see these guys just sitting here. Okay, I'm just gonna send them down here. Uh, these guys should be able to handle whatever's up here and over there. Peons are starting to aggravate me building the buildings again. guys destroy whatever they want. Let's see if there's any other ones over here ready. There you go. Uh, I'm gonna send these guys up here just because these guys are about to disappear regardless of their health. I'm not going to be able to build, kill everything up here in time. Let's see these guys over here as well. And they still have a barracks and they still have a tower, so they can still put units out. Um, you gotta keep that in mind when you're picking out what buildings you want to destroy. To me it's not so big of a deal right now, but uh, depending on how well you're doing, that may be a very big deal. Go up here see if there's any peons. There we go. So he's trying to put down another building. Now he'll just keep building these guys uh, if you leave him his town hall, but his town hall's destroyed. Uh, he can't build another peon, at least not over here at this base. Same goes for over here. If I can kill this peon down here, uh, he won't be able to build any more buildings. So he has more other building buildings all around me. Let's see, destroyed that. guys are disappearing, so I might have to make a few more. Uh, I'm going to send them over here just to destroy this base first. Finish off one base at a time. Splitting my, my resources up doesn't seem to be working very well. Town hall. Ok, 
Okay, well this was going to be a short level, but these guys surely take quite a long time to destroy anything. Actually, I can build a couple more of those guys. Can't have any more town holes. So that's the last peasant, hopefully. Though I think I said that before and it turned out not to be the case. Okay, so these guys are gonna go up there. Finish that off for me. Why this guy looks around. It's about to disappear, even though he's full life. As you can see, once his power is gone, his life will start to dwindle. So the more life he has, the more, uh... You know, just a few more seconds, actually, that you'll get out of him. But not by much. And that might actually be it, once I destroy this stuff up here. I'll have them go straight up just to be safe, but... You know, I was actually expecting this level to be a lot harder than it was. Hopefully the last level will be uh, a bit more of a challenge uh, than this one. Of course I say that before I beat it, so that could always be a... You know, ungodly amount of troops just sitting there in the blackness waiting for me. Well, there you guys go. If you like these episodes, please hit the thumbs up.